What is that tin bird up to? She is sitting on the metal lid. That's a funny thing to do. Oh, even tiny and small laughing has frightened her off. Yes, it's probably best to leave her be. The soup dragon is telling Major about the tin bird pulling the leaves off the copper trees. Tiny and small think that perhaps the tin bird wants to make a nest. That's why she was collecting copper leaves and trying to sit on a lid. They want to help her. What would make a nice nest? Smalls had an idea. Oh, a puffball. Yes, perhaps a puffball will make a good nest. But then again, perhaps not. She's even frightened by the puffball, poor thing. Here comes Mother with some fresh clippings for the Sky Moos. Clippings. Maybe clippings will do. Mother's happy to let Tiny and Small have them. There. A nice comfy nest of clippings. The Sky Moo doesn't like the tin bird sitting on her dinner. <laughs> Baby Soup Dragon's sorry for giving the Iron Chicken such a surprise. <laughs> she doesn't mind. And anyway, it got her out of that well pretty quickly. Ah. But she is very soupy. Baby Soup Dragon has an idea. Cotton balls. What are they going to do with those? There are the grown-ups, enjoying their trip to the stars. But Mother's worrying about the little ones. The wise soup dragon is telling her all will be fine. The iron chicken will look after them. Anyway, what could possibly go wrong? Oh, I see. They're using the cotton balls to clean the iron chicken. Oh dear, that just made things even worse. Water, says Tiny. That's what they need. And she knows just where to get it. Ah, the cloud's going to help. A chicken cleaning cloud. Now that's something you don't see every day. Thank you, dear Cloud. The iron chicken's as clean and shiny as new. Ah, the singing flowers. She's teaching the flowers the new tune. What is that strange singing? Tiny is going to find out. The sound seems to be coming from this cave. Oh, 
Look at that. In I go. What an interesting looking creature. It looks like it's woken up from a long sleep. I wonder if it's been hibernating. Oh, it's trying to tell Tiny something. But she doesn't understand. Ah, it's leaving its hole. Excellent. Tiny is going to get small. He'd love to meet a strange creature like this. Oh. It's time to plant the seed before it gets stuck to anyone else. Well, I say, it seems to have planted itself. It really is a fast grower. Maybe too fast. Yes, another seed, just like the first one. Here we go again. Mother's right. A plant that grows this quickly could spread all over the planet in no time. There'd be no room for anyone else. A sky moon, where Tiny and Small first found that seed. I think Small has an idea. Small thinks the seed should go on a journey into outer space. And I think the froglets heartily agree. Now Baby Soup Dragon can blow, shake, crash and bang to his heart's content. He's very pleased. Ah, there's Tiny with her friends again. Oh dear, what a noise. But Baby Soup Dragon thinks he's terribly good. Tiny's finding it difficult to tell Baby Soup Dragon that he's, well, terribly not very good. Ah, but she doesn't have to. He wants to go and show the others. <coughs> That's woken Granny up. Soup Dragon doesn't like that. In fact, she can't bear it. How lovely. A felt brooch Mother made. What a lovely little picture. Mother's first gardening trowel. What a special treasure. 
Tiny and Small want their own memory box, right away. Looks like Major wants to help. Now, what can Tiny and Small find to put in their memory box? Ah, yes. Small's froglet Teddy. And his music boat model. But what about the third special thing? Oh, yes. Small's first ever tankard. But how's Tiny getting on? Tiny can't use her Skymoo toy. She can't sleep without it. No, she needs her radio hat to talk to the Iron Chicken. These look very nice. But Tiny wants that special thing too, like Mother Clanger's first trowel. Oh, how clever! Major's made a marvellous memory box for them. And Small is wasting no time at all. Mother and Granny think that Small's tankard is wonderful. Yes, it is too noisy to practice in here, Tiny. Best go and find somewhere quieter. Big Hoot is impressed with Major's workshop. Oh, look out, Major! Major's right. No running in the workshop. Ah, that's better. A lovely tune to calm them down. And here's Tiny, playing her own lovely tune. She's off to find Big Hoot. Surely it must be time to play a tune together by now. What a beautiful tune. Big Hoot is playing it with Tiny's singing flower friends. Oh dear, I think Big Hoot's forgotten about Tiny. <coughs> Granny wants to know if everything is all right. <whistles> Tiny says she's fine, but she doesn't look it. <coughs> Hello, Major's trying someone else now. Oh dear, Granny wasn't expecting that. The chatterbox is a bit noisy for her. Major's feeling very pleased with himself. Who will he speak to now? That's right, Mother's worked out what to do. This is a roaring success. Major will never be late for soup again. Ah, the last button. Who will it be? Small and Tiny are excited. They're going to see how Major's doing this. Ah. Baby Soup Dragon has just missed them. He's very curious about the chatterboxes. Oh. 
but he's not sure what he's supposed to do. Hmm. Major thinks something may be broken. <laughs> <laughs> 